Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Thursday, the 23rd of February, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, VOJN hosts road relays, and in our feature for this evening, Ivor Walters Primary Wow in road relays. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. Salt is an important part of the human diet, but most of us consume more than we realize. Well, I'm back and we start with athletics. First up, we'll let you know that the SKN Moves Nevis chapter will be hosting the Half Island Road Relay Run coming in March. Let's hear from Sheila James. Hi, I'm Sheila James, coordinator for the SKN Moves Nevis chapter. The committee are organizing their second event this year, which is the Half Island Run Relay Cup Challenge. So we're asking persons watching this program today to sign up Registration is now open. Deadline for registration is the 16th of March. The event takes place on the 25th, Saturday, the 25th of March from 6 a.m. The start route, slight change, are starting at Diggs Bar in Brickham. We then go up to Butler's Esme's Bar, from Esme's Bar to Fothergills, from Fothergills to Market Shop, to Brown Hill Gap and then we finish at the fitness grounds. So please, it's $20 per person, $100 for a team of five. We have batons here. You've got the energy, we've got the time, we want you to sign up, so sign up now. Welcome to Nevis. It's easy to believe that all Caribbean islands are the same until you visit Nevis. Nevis is the Caribbean of a bygone era. You will enjoy a most intimate vacation on Nevis. You're only a stranger here once. We offer exclusive and barefoot luxury stays. With only 400 hotel rooms, our island may be exclusive. But the warm, genuine and friendly welcome is just everywhere. We look forward to meeting you. Visit nevisisland.com. Now to table tennis. The St. Kitts and Nevis Table Tennis Association held its elections on the evening of Monday, 20th February at the St. Kitts and Nevis Olympic Committee's conference room under the supervision of Mr. Glenn Jeffers, General Secretary of the SKNOC. The following persons were elected to office. President Troy Briff Mills, unopposed. Vice President Shaquan Hodge, unopposed. Secretary General Michelle Leibard, unopposed. Treasurer Craig McDowell on a pose. Executive members on a pose, Mrs. Amelia Freeman and Ms. Tricia Wilkin. The following positions will be filled within the next two months. Assistant Secretary slash General Sec Treasurer, one executive member as well. In his acceptance speech, the President, on behalf of the Executive, thanked the electorate for their confidence in electing the new Executive. He said it was an honor and privilege for them to serve and that they were humbled and proud to do so. Now to football, the SKNFA Division I opened on Tuesday night with two scintillating matches at the Kim Collins Stadium. More in this SKNFA report. <music> The 2023 SKNFA Division I League got off to a flying start at the Kim Collins Stadium in Bird Rock with a double header, Connery Fireballs International crushing Molyneux six goals to nil, while Trafalgar South Stars demolished KFC Trinity Challenges United seven goals to nil. Goal scorer for South Stars, Sean Percival, scoring four goals in the second, third, 40th, and 55th minutes. Jelani Willett scoring a brace in the 45th and 86th minutes, and Clarissa Gums in the 70th minute. After the match, manager of South Stars, Atkins Phillip, said the results are signs of the new thrust of the team this season. Well, the, the performance tonight was okay because we have been training and they're doing a better. We have a younger and a more strategic team this year. And we're going, we're on a mission. That's our motto, we're on a mission to go back straight up to the Premier well, this is a statement everybody going to hear South Stars 8-0 with the score, but we didn't matter the score. It's how we play the game. 
know what I mean? That's how that's that's how we want to do. How we play the game, and we go forward, straight back up. Trinity Challengers coach Orin Hughes said his team struggled defensively, which led to the poor result. So goals to have occurred, um, we would have been practicing um, exactly um, some of the things that I would have expected from the opponent. So, for example, where that one ball over the top catch the defense flat-footed. Um, I think it was just a, an error on judgment based on knowing what to do, even though we would have trained um, just up to yesterday and there before as to one dropping off and denying the, the, the person the space. Um, you find that person was still ball watching um, and not doing their jobs. In the other match, Connery Fireball's goal scorers, Terence Wallace in the fourth minute, Kay Nisbeth in the fifth minute, Catherine Bricken in the twelfth minute, Kemuel Shari in the thirtieth minute, Curtis Sargent in the thirty-sixth minute, and Ozzy Butte in the forty-second minute. The Division One League continues on Thursday at the Kim Collins Stadium. Now to athletics, the numbers were small in terms of supporters, but the cheering and encouragement were as vociferous as you could find anywhere else. It was Wednesday, the 22nd February, and the parents and other family members had shown up to witness the annual road release at the VOJ and Primary School featuring their children, and support they did. The senior boys and girls were first on the road going through one of the housing project areas and coming down the hill to the school to climax the race. The juniors, on the other hand, had a much shorter route, but they all served to excite their captive audience nonetheless. Final results, juniors, first, greenhouse, second, gold house, third, blue house. For the seniors, first, gold house, second, blue house, and third, greenhouse. Well, it was really windy on the day, but we share a bit of the action. Ready, guys. They're off. They're off. You're good. You're good. Gold, green. Mountain. Yeah. Going down through the area for the project housing. Slow down a bit. And uh, down nicely. Green and gold leading for the project. Go ahead. Gold leading, green, and then blue. They're staying pretty close to each other. Should be coming up, not too far from here. And this is the first school that I haven't seen a lot of parents along the roadside. Um, they've got a more at the school gate. I think they're getting a bit tired now. They're staying close to the gold house, and you could hear them blowing pretty hard right now. to be just trailing a little bit now green trying to keep up and so we hear some encouraging sounds back of us and so goal still leading very determined um, young lady guess one of the top athletes in the school certainly doing pretty well greenhouse now blue doing pretty well now getting closer to this line and he's not gonna trail goal trying to maintain a good clip still leading she looks back glances back quickly we 
realizes that they're still on her heels, but she still has a slight lead. I think they're all going to pass off around the same time. This has been a pretty good leg. They've run this one very well indeed. So, Green, so Green has decided I'm going to pass. And uh, just about. Green decided he wants to pass first. Cole is coming back. And uh, Green passes out first, but Cole gets the back around the same time. And Green trying to hustle here. So we have Green and Cole both doing pretty well. Go ahead, right on us. Cole doing pretty well. But the other two are keeping close. Okay, slow down now. And uh, coming along, I think now they would start to get a little tired here. Pass, pass, you drive the pass. We had a little problem with the garbage truck, not understanding that the route went this way. Now we have some walking, but the goal was at least still going. So for the first time, we are seeing athletes walking. Old house looking back, he wants to walk too. You could watch him and see that he wants to walk, but he wants a good lead before he starts walking. But um, the blow sat lead has started to run again, so he doesn't have a chance to walk now. But she walks again, so he could probably do a little walk. And he wants to badly, he wants to walk, he wants to. He's thinking about it, but he's getting some encouragement to continue running. So he hasn't stopped, the other two have stopped. So Gold has done pretty well. Now he's on the level and the flats and he decides, well, if I didn't stop in the hill, why should I stop now? And he has some encouragement from some barking dogs and he pushes out. Go ahead, go ahead. And uh, up the hill, first back and pass, Gold has passed off. Very strong start, pulling this hill nicely. This goal out at the, the others have to wait a bit for their buttons, their respective buttons. But Gold House isn't waiting, he's gone. And pulling the hill very nicely here. Looking very strong indeed. Now at the far end, the second button has been passed off. He has a lot of catching up to do. Looks like a strong athlete too, so can he close the gap and how, how much can he close up? Because this guy has done pretty well so far. He's not easing up. He's certainly doing well. And they're almost on us. Pulling the hill nicely. Challenging himself to catch up the vehicle. And doing pretty well. I think there's one more button station then that would be it. He knows he's tiring, he knows, but he knows that the baton station is close. So he has done a pretty good run. <laughs> he has done pretty well. Now we hear the encouraging words from parents and teachers. And they're here, baton passed off. Female, go ahead. Um, she's challenging herself to catch up on the pickup. The other button hasn't been passed off as yet. Oh, looking strong. So again, this must be one of the top athletes in the school. Nice strides. And it looks as if it's a foregone conclusion here. Looks as if Gold is going to take this one. And uh, here she comes. Gold. up the road and looking pretty strong so, tiring looks as 
if reality has struck and you could watch the strides they have shortened somewhat and uh, more encouragers on route looking for their members looking for the house is going hard now really going hard getting some encouragement though still looking for the second place so we might have a bit of a strong finish between the, between the second placer and the third placer that might be interesting she has just downhill now to go towards the school has been a grueling run and uh, so these are the seniors and the seniors had the longer route the little ones will have a very short route. They'll just run through the community, the project housing area, and then back to the school. So, getting all the road She gets down towards the school. And finishing strongly. Finishing strongly. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. My wife and I have been in the Caribbean, living, working, traveling, for the better part of 40 years. Nine years ago, we ended up on Nevis, and um, we're very glad we did. Decided to move here permanently a few years ago. Beautiful beaches that are virtually empty, so the beach is like your own. The experiences as an investor was quite seamless actually. It's uh, the, the local people were a joy to deal with, very positive. That's one of the highlights of Nevis too, just wonderful people to deal with. What's keeping us here is um, the, the way of life. One of the big reasons is because it still has a feeling of being somewhat undiscovered. It's quite a, an eye-opener that there's still something like this exists on this planet. The local produce, what they normally call ground provisions, are outstandingly good. Um, tomatoes in particular are wonderful. They still taste like a real tomato. We can source most of our produce for the restaurant locally. We've got a handful of farmers we deal with, and even the roadside people on the market have great product. We're, we're developing our restaurant into a 12-month business as opposed to a six-month business. Um, the local people enjoy going out just as much as the tourists. So, it's very rewarding to get uh, local people coming to the restaurant in a good number and getting a nice balance. As I say, it's been gratifying and, and rewarding. Well, I'm back and tonight Athletics is in the spotlight. Remember the name. Look out for Zaire Jeffers at the upcoming Interprimary Meet representing the Ivor Walters Primary School. The Ivor Walters Primary School held its annual road relays on Wednesday, 22nd February. The race featuring the boys from grades 3 to 6 was as amazing as it was unforgettable. Lama Chaz had what looked like an impregnable lead of at least 100 meters when he received the baton on the last leg of the race. For all intents and purposes, Zaya Jeffers would just settle for the silver medal for his gold house. However, he had other ideas. He burned up the Brown Hill Road as if he was operating on solar energy and shockingly caused Lamar to burn out and passed him to secure the gold medal. Prior to that, the other races also had their unique frills and the supporters were out in their numbers. The results, Keto two girls, Greenhouse first place, Red House second place, Gold House third place. Keto two boys, Greenhouse first place, Red House second place, Gold House third place. Three to six girls, Gold House first place, Green House second place, Red House third place. Three to six boys, Green House first place, Gold House second place, and third place went to Red House. Well, the Heats points standings, Gold Warriors 754 points, second Green Pythons 738 points, Red Eagles in third 731 points. Well, we're taking some of the exciting action from the IWPS.
And that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.